Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ankit and today we will be learning how to create a gradient trail echo effect in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's jump right into it. First of all, we will create a new composition. We will make it 1080 by 1080 pixels and we will name it render. We will keep it 24 frames per second and we will leave it to one minute for now when you have the composition open right click and create a new solid for the background we will call it background and make it dark gray hit ok and here you have your background we will lock it for now now just create a new text layer we will type A. Change the font and uh, I'm gonna be using Helvetica. This is my favorite font if you don't know. We will make it 200 in size. And here's the tricky part. First of all, we will be creating an animation for it. So we will align it to the bottom left corner for now. And hold down hold down shift and press up arrow once right arrow once again again and again so four times you have to press up arrow and the right arrow so you'll know the position for it hit P on your keyboard it will open up the position and start a keyframe hold down shift and page down twice then we will animate it Just now again align it to the top corner hold down shift and down arrow four times make a keyframe again we will go forward and align it to the right hold shift and left arrow four times we will make a stop here Again, we'll go forward, we'll align it to the bottom. Again, we'll go forward and align it to the left. And this will bring us to the starting point. So the animation is very simple. It stops where it starts. So if you play it, the animation looks like this and you might feel like this is choppy so what you can do is turn on the motion blur select all the keyframes and right click go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease for now this will smoothen up the things and if you play it now this looks a lot better So now the fun part begins. What we'll do is we'll rename the layer, we'll call it text and we'll duplicate the layer, bring it down and we'll rename it echo. And just uh, if you want to make one more thing right, open up the text property of the text layer, select the echo layer, hold down alt and click on the stopwatch it will give you a few options now select this pick drop tool and hover it up and parent it to the source text of the text layer so what it will do is if you change the text in the text layer let's say you want to change it to ap so it will also change this in the echo layer just a pretty handy tool to take the precaution in case you change something it will change in the bottom now select the echo layer 
go to the effects and preset panel search for the echo effect drag and drop it onto the text layer echo layer and we're gonna tweak up a few settings here if you go here then you will see that how it looks with without and with echo effect on it so we will change the echo time to minus 0.009 and we will change the number of echoes to 50 now you see now we have a trail and change the decay, decay to 0.9 So now as you can see, you have a nice trail behind the letter A and it fades away. So if you play the animation now, this is going to take a lot of time if your computer is running low on graphics or the processor is very slow. So just hang on with it. now you can see we have the trail so we just gonna put some colors onto it to put the colors we have two ways we can use a gradient map or i have a better solution that is uh, there's an effect called four color gradient we're gonna drop it onto it and we're gonna tweak some colors we will go from the red to orange to yellow and then in the end we will make it reddish pink okay so now as you can see we have changed the colors and it looks amazing it? looks good to me if we just want to add some more drama to it, what we can do is select the text layer above the echo effect and go to effects panel, search for glow, put glow onto it. Just a tiny bit. Make the glow radius to 50. And now look at this if you play this it will look like this this looks amazing doesn't it yeah so this is it for today guys hope you liked the video and hit the like button if you did don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you want to learn more about design follow me on instagram i'm pretty active in there and i post a lot of videos carousels and my ui work in there I uh, in short, just go and follow me there. Thanks a lot. See you till the next time. And may the force be with you.